How do you do? I'm Bill Graham, maker of the MicroClone Seed Starter Kit and the other MicroClone Tissue Culture Kits in the series. I am here at Monster Gardens today in my warehouse lab to show you how to start your old at risk and valuable seeds in our simple kit using tissue culture clean methods. So let me introduce you to the kit. What we've got in here is I'm going to provide uh, media, soaking solution, cleaning solution, and tools so that you're, you can give your seeds the very best start they could possibly get. The seed starter kit started when we wanted to have a the very best germination possibility uh, for old seeds because I had a lot of people who had seeds that were 10, 20 years old, 40 year old old uh, tackle boxes, ashtrays, found them in a box. Um, you know, there are always those risks that as seeds get older, they are going to be harder to germinate. And one of the reasons for that is that over time, the proteins degrade, the enzymes inside that make the food uh, available degrade, and, and DNA can degrade. And essentially, you've got a seed that if it's not germinating fast enough and vigorous enough, outside fungus can get in and attack those same foodstuffs and uh, spoil the seed. So a lot of you who've tried to germinate old seeds can really testify to what I'm talking about because you've seen them get soft, you've seen them get squishy and smelly. We are using the same methods that we use to clean our tissue culture plants to clean seeds. And this is the same protocol for introducing seeds into tissue culture but I'm giving them to users who just want to germinate those seeds in a soil or similar media and then transplant them back into pots when they get going. So let me introduce you to the kit. The kit's going to come with uh, 10 uh, tubes of sterilized coca coir media. What we've done in here is uh, this is kind of our, our own mix. We've screened it. Uh, I've added a, a little bit of auger as a hardener so that we can transport it, but these have been sterilized in our autoclave and packaged so that all of this is clean. There are 10 tubes with the coir in it, and then you'll notice that I've got two additional tubes. This is tissue culture media that we can use as a rescue for seeds that may start to open but not quite germinate inside the tubes. So this is rescue, and we'll get to that in a moment. These are the parts that make all of this work. I've given you a clear plastic wash container with uh, screen and holes in the lid so that we can drain it. Uh, that will include just one little tablet of dichlor sanitizer that will add to water to about this deep. And this is all that's necessary to clean the seed. Dichlor, incidentally, is the same uh, chlorine that you would put in a water bottle if you're camping or anybody who has uh, made beer or wine, this is one of the cleaners that you can use on that. But most people are familiar with it. This is the spa shock, the HTH, that you would sling in a pool or hot tub to shock it clean, but then swim in it a few hours later. We use this because it's very strong at first, and then it just wears off by itself, as opposed to Clorox bleach, which is going to be strong and stays potent because it's made that way. Lastly, I've got uh, a roll of tape in here that we will use to tape these closed later, but I'll show you that. Step A is to dissolve the tablet into the cup and wash the seed for about 45 seconds. The cup it will drain itself. That's what the screen and holes are for. Uh, and then we'll chase that with sterile germinating solution. And this is what we make here. This is almost pure water. It's got the smallest amount of uh, sucrose, smallest amount of uh, vitamin B and uh, a couple of the B vitamins and a little bit of mi mineral nutrition, but is essentially sterile water for the purpose of hydrating the seeds. Seed will soak in here for about 45 minutes, drain that off. Seeds are still inside the cup. Top it off with this solution, close it. And then, you know, we're going to put this in a warm location. I've given you the thermometer so that you can keep it close to about 78 degrees, as high as 80 or so. 
Again, we just try not to get it, let it get too warm until the seeds sink. The nice thing about uh, most seeds uh, and about half of these kits will be bought by our cannabis, uh, legal cannabis consumers, uh, is that when the seeds have dropped to the bottom of the cup, they will have imbibed as much water as they need to germinate. And then we just need to move those to a uh, moist medium, which is the contents of the tubes. Those will be typically, uh, healthy seeds will sink within hours. Um, seeds that are older can take 24, 48 hours. If they haven't sunk in 48 hours, um, uh, they're probably shot. Now remember, this is going to be for soft seeds that will readily germinate and not necessarily for like oranges and citrus mm -hmm. and things like that that uh, would ordinarily have to be uh, scraped, sanded, or otherwise treated to help get all this in. Clean it with the chlorine, mm -hmm. soak it in the hydrating solution, and then we'll use our forceps to pick up each one of those seeds and mm -hmm. just tuck it right down in one of the tubes, usually right where the media uh, meets the glass and down about a half of an inch and then cap that and for your special pleasure today i brought you seeds so we're already doing a seed germination for a, a friend and this is what the seeds look like after this this has only been six days so these were healthy seeds so there wasn't an issue there you can see how the seeds are right alongside the glass so we can see the growth and our next task will be withdrawing these using the same forceps. We'll just draw this out and then this will get planted into potting soil. It's okay to bury a bit of that stem um, under the soil which will set the roots a little deeper. Uh, the stem will grow uh, some roots and make it stronger. It gives you a nice strong start when you do the transplant and of course they've done a bit of stretching in the tubes. But those are uh, our seedlings in our seed kit tubes after only a few days. And remember, save your tubes and tools to refill them. There are refill kits available at monstergardens.com. I'm Bill Graham, the creator. Uh, thank you again for watching our channel. Ooh.